Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unboxed, and today we're going to start a new segment called Best Android Apps for Your Chromebook, and in it, we want to take a look at the apps that already are beginning to roll out that take full advantage of the large screen on your Chromebook. As developers start making their apps work better on Chromebooks, we want to take the time to show you the ones that are doing it best that could help you out in the day-to-day. -day. So let's get started. In an early article, we talked about the shortcomings of Google Keep and all the ways it needs to improve to really become the go-to notes app for your stylus-equipped Chromebook. Luckily, the remedy for Keep's weaknesses is already here. Meet Squid, formerly Papyrus, a well-executed, complete and versatile tool for any stylus-equipped Chromebook. One of my early concerns with having an active stylus on a Chromebook, or any device for that matter, was whether or not apps would support and fully take advantage of all the tech in the screen and in the pen. As it stands, there are quite a few apps in the Play Store that can recognize and take advantage of all the neat things an active stylus can do. And Squid is one of those apps. And it takes full advantage of the tech in the Samsung Chromebook Pro and Plus. So let's take a look at what this thing does well. If you only use Google Keep, you'd be forgiven for thinking that the pen on the Samsung Chromebook Pro and or Plus is average at best. Once you fire up Squid though, the experience is night and day. Lag almost completely disappears. Writing and sketching feels way more natural and smooth, even when feverishly jotting notes in a class or in a meeting. Again, unlike Keep, this app tracks pressure with every single stroke. And this adds to the natural feel of writing on a glass surface. And between that and lack of pen lag, it all plays into the experience of making writing in Squid a real pleasure. While not really intended as a sketch tool, Squid's fantastic pen tracking could easily serve as a decent tool for just that task. Again, in sharp contrast to Keep, Squid gives users a ton of choices on page templates. From standard ruled paper, to graph paper, to score paper for sports, you're likely to find exactly what you need. Additionally, adding a page to your current note is quick and just a single click away another feature that's missing with Google Keep. Lastly, you can choose real paper sizes, 8.5 by 11, A4, 11 by 14, etc., or an infinite canvas for your notes. And this canvas is zoomable as well, giving you added flexibility. Also included is the ability to highlight parts you've drawn to move or resize those scribbles as vector objects. Need to move that paragraph of notes down a bit to make some more space? Grab it and move it. Paper can't do that. You can also drop image files right into your note as well. They become part of the note and can be resized and manipulated to any position to fit your layout. Along with imported pics, Squid allows simple shape creation and text entry as well. Have you ever needed to simply sign a document? Get the email, print it out, sign it, rescan it, email it back. Wouldn't it be nice to just open the file, sign it, and send it back? With Squid, you can, and it's just as simple as it sounds. Squid allows you to link your Dropbox or box account so that all your stuff is saved in the cloud for viewing or editing on any device you own as well. The sync settings are less than perfect though as the shortest sync interval is six hours. Keep definitely handles this part of it better, but it's workable as long as you just remember to manually hit sync before leaving your device. Lastly, there's a convenient Chromecast button up top as well, giving you the ability to cast all of your notes to the big screen in real time to give a presentation. So whether displaying a note or using it like a digital whiteboard, this feature is great to see. If you're looking for a great note-taking experience, look no further. I'll be honest, if Google Keep could get all these features, maybe I would come back to it for handwriting. But for now, I'm sold on Squid. To unlock all the available features, you do need a subscription and it costs a dollar a month. But if you're in need of a pad and paper synced across all your accounts and devices, that's a really small price to pay. I really can't recommend Squid enough. Guys, if you like this video, Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and until next time, we'll see you.